Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking some homemade mini meatballs and spaghetti. So let's begin. Okay, so I've got my frying pan here. I'm just going to add some oil. About four tablespoons of olive oil, of course. Got my water ready for the spaghetti. And I'll just wait for that to heat up so that I can fry the mini meatballs that I made this morning. I used 1.5 kilos of beef and pork mince and I made four batches of mini meatballs. So you'll be seeing a few recipes with them very soon. Also, I made two burgers. So let's wait for that to heat up a bit. Okay, once the oil looks hot, I put in the mini meatballs. By the way, if you want to know how I make my own meatballs, then I will leave a link in the description and it will probably also appear at the end of the video. So let's fry these off. Make them nice and brown all round. Okay then. So once the meatballs are nice and browned all round, we'll take them out and we'll move them, leave them on this plate for a little while. Obviously they're not going to be cooked inside yet, but they'll have plenty of time later with the sauce. So what I'll do next is in that same oil I will add in about three cloves of garlic and half a small onion and I'll just gently brown this off as well. You can use more onion and garlic or less if you like. It's entirely up to you. And this morning I made my darling wife a sponge cake for her breakfast. Tip of the day, always look after your wife. Because as they say, a happy wife is a happy life. And to me, that is true. Right, so once the onion and garlic is soft and brownish, I'm going to crumble in a stock cube. It's a vegetable one today. You can use a meat one if you like, or even a chicken one. Doesn't matter. And also, a nice te teaspoon of sweet paprika. I love paprika. Well, you probably know that already. I'm also going to add some salt. And... I will chuck in back the meatballs and add a glass of wine and we'll give that a mix. By the way I'm cooking this on number 7 so it's on medium high. Ok I'm going to cover this up. I'll leave it there for five minutes until the wine evaporates. Okay, so the five minutes are over and this is smelling beautiful. You know what? If you don't want to eat these with pasta, I would love these over a nice bed a big bed of chips. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So, 
let's give this stove a clean because there's nothing worse than cooking over a dirty stove. Right, um, next we're going to add the tomato. And of course, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Add some water to this, give it a shake, chuck it back in. Okay, so we'll mix it about. And we'll bring this to the boil, so I'm going to turn it on full whack. Should start boiling very soon. Okay, that didn't take long. It's starting to bubble up nicely. So let's have a salt check. I don't know why I do it because I know it's going to be okay. Mmm. Oh yes. Lovely. Jubbly. So let's turn the heat down. I'm going to turn it down to number three. I'm going to cover it back up. And I'm going to turn the water on to boil the spaghetti. And of course, I'm going to snap it. Okay then, so 15 minutes have gone by, these are ready, I'll turn the meatballs off, I'll still leave it on there, the water is boiling for the spaghetti, so what I'll do is add the spaghetti in, I'm going to snap it of course. Oi! There you go. And of course, some salt. And we'll wait for the spaghetti to cook. Which is to everyone's taste. I don't think I have to show you how to cook spaghetti, do I? Just follow the instructions in the package. See you in a minute. Okay then. So the spaghetti. Ah! Ah! Yes. It is ready. So let's drain that water out. Sorted. So, usually, as you may know by now, I would, let me move this about a bit, I would add the meatballs onto there and give it a mix. But today, to change things a bit, I'm going to serve it up differently. Well, here we have it. And of course, we have to push it up, don't we? Oh yes. So let's push it up, add a bit of parsley to it. Voila! And there you go. Today's recipe. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. If you did so, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I look forward to showing you my next recipe video. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.